Welcome back. I'm joined in the studio now with Sage's own Tom Miller, Vice President, Channel Management, Sage Business Solutions, and Betty Otter Nickerson, President of Sage Healthcare Division. Hello and thank you to you both for joining us today. Thank you, Dave. Nice to be here. Yes, thanks a lot for the opportunity. Okay. Hey, let's get right into it. We just heard from Sue about some of the market fo forces at work and this focus on fundamentals. Tom, what are you hearing from customers and the challenges they face? Well, Dave, um, we have a large base of customers and we hear from them on a daily basis. And one of the things that we're hearing is that it's a constantly shifting environment that they're operating in. And uh, they're, they're feeling that the economy is improving somewhat and they want to be better prepared to invest appropriately in technology as that change occurs. So we're working on things to improve the efficiency that they have in their operations and give them the tools that they need to really get the information they need to make informed decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, the business intelligence tools that we've just started to offer are directly linked to our ERPs and it really will enable the customers to operate better in this economy. Some of the other things that we're doing is providing compliance tools within the software. And one of them is PCI compliance, which is necessary if you're doing credit card processing. One of the other important aspects of the feedback we've received is, is around connected services. And as they look at the solutions that we offer, there are other things that they need. So we are building systems to easily connect to those other solutions, many of them uh, delivered by us ourselves. So things like e-marketing is a great example of that. And that's something that can be driven right from their ERP or their CRM system. Great, Tom, thanks. Betty, what are you seeing in the healthcare space? Well, you know, in the healthcare market right now, we're really in the midst of a transformation of the U.S. healthcare system, driven by the High Tech and ARA Stimulus Act. Mm -hmm. And what that's really doing is having a big impact on physicians and how they deliver care and how they run their practices. So they're going to be eligible for federal incentives that will help them deliver care for a enabling technology across their practices. So this impacts them on many levels, not only from a technology standpoint, but it also puts greater emphasis on quality measurement and outcomes of healthcare. But the other aspect of that is more people are gonna be eligible for care. So about 32 million people are gonna be, you know, actually now eligible to receive healthcare through the government, um, prob primarily um, being served by community health centers across America. So for all of those physicians across America to be able to enable their technology and their practices, it means for electronic health records to be successful, what really has to happen um, is delivering of easy and intuitive products mm -hmm. um, that can quickly incorporate into their workflow and that really they do careful planning because it's a lot of behavior, behavior modification at the same time to en embrace this technology. Okay, so Betty, considering these influences on the market, what is Sage doing to help healthcare customers meet the challenges? Well, you know, we actually have a long history in the healthcare market, over 30 mm -hmm. years of experience. So the depth of our team and the knowledge really allows us to serve as trusted advisors for our customers. Um, meaningful use, which is really delivering meaningful care and meeting the government stimulus um, incentives for meaningful use are important. And we're there to help our customers through a portfolio of tools from a technology standpoint for healthcare mm -hmm. to across the healthcare ecosystem, as well as across their entire practice because we're one of the few vendors that not only can help them from a healthcare standpoint, but also by delivering solutions for accounting and HR, payroll. So we're really helping our physicians meet meaningful use and being there as their advisor. So no matter what changes are going on, we'll be there right beside them, helping them optimize their business. Fantastic. Tom, I saw you nodding as Betty was discussing the last point. Is there perhaps something you'd like to add? Well, yeah, Dave, uh, as Betty said, we take a broader view of our customers' business. And really what we're all about is helping our customers enrich their existing investment, uh, connect to other people within their community and to us, and actually grow their business and realize their potential. On the enrichment side, you know, many of the things we're already delivering that I talked about around business intelligence and improvements to uh, the actual applications, including the delivery of Sage Business Care, uh, really help the customers maximize the value from their technology investment. On the Connect side, um, we're helping them connect to broader communities that can bring best practices and really help them see how other people are using the software and so that they can increase their efficiencies. 
On the connection side, we're connecting to services that we provide, like payment services or cloud-based marketing. And uh, we've just offered online fundraising for not-for-profits. So we're connecting them to solutions and also other people through online communities to help them gain insight and tips and tricks and best practices mm -hmm. to be more effective. And of course, helping them to grow their business is fundamental to what we do. Uh, we're delivering the tools to help them grow. Uh, whether it be, you know, in the solution set or the connected communities or the connected services, ultimately it's for them to reach their aspirations as a business. Wow, fantastic. Look, before we move on, I want to talk a little bit more about connecting and social media. There's so many ways people are connecting today. Am I right? Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, the list goes on. How are people using social media today and how does that benefit a business? Well, you know, it's really about connection. And mm -hmm. so it's, um, as people deal with the healthcare system and become advocates for their own healthcare, they actually have more expectations of the healthcare system. And so they really be, expect to be able to get access to labs and prescriptions and everything electronically and be able to communicate with their physicians in a secure manner. And so physicians are really providing, like um, some of our physicians are providing a patient portal through SAGE that allows them to connect with their customers and then using their patient portal and Facebook and, and MySpace to engage and educate their customers. We've got a physician in Dallas, Texas, Dr. James Livingston, who with MacArthur OBGYN, he uses um, social media um, and uh, our SAGE patient portal every day to engage with his young patients to educate them about birth control and abstinence uh -huh. and, um, and, and health while they're in their um, gestation period. So it's really, really a good way for him to grow his practice, for him to educate his patients, and we're seeing other physicians do that across the country as well. That's great, that's great. Tom, any examples of how social media has played a role in the business sector? Well, Dave, thanks for asking, and this is really exciting because if you think about the three million customers that we have in North America, mm -hmm. uh, this is a great way to connect with them. And uh, there's nothing any more important than getting feedback from customers, particularly as we look at product development and the services that we provide to them. Uh, one of the things that we have done is we're adding online communities, as I mentioned earlier, for al almost all of our products. And this is where uh, customers can connect and provide feedback back to us in terms of the things that they need in the products. And this actually reduces our development cycle because we can get the information so much faster. And then what happens is the user community actually participates by commenting and voting on the suggestions that other customers make. And the result is that it's a better product, it's quicker development, and ultimately more satisfied customers. And as I said, you know, with the millions of customers that we have in North America, uh, they have a tremendous knowledge and we want to tap in on that. And we're focused on uh, creating those very, very strong and active communities enabling Facebook and LinkedIn to let users work and learn from one another. That's great stuff, Tom. Thank you for that. And I've got one final question before we open the polls. If you could have our attendees walk away with one thought from today's event, what would it be? Well, Dave, first of all, uh, I want to thank all the customers who came online and participated today uh, because it's really, really important that we get their feedback. And so the one thing that I would reinforce as a message is the feedback, feedback, feedback is really, really important. It shapes all the things that we do at Sage. The customers are so important to us and the products and the features and the services that we provide are a direct result of getting that feedback. Great, any last thoughts, Betty? Well, I agree. I thanks for the partnership and the collaboration because that's what it takes. It's about helping mm -hmm. us refine not only our product features, but even our events like Sage Summit 2011 their voice matters and we really care. Excellent thoughts. Thank you, Betty and Tom, for joining us here today.